Hi everybody, welcome to this Maryland DC vlog. I basically had to go to DC to renew my passport and obviously my husband went with me. My appointment was on Monday, but we decided to leave on Friday so that we could stop at my husband's sister's house and her husband's house basically we arrived late on friday we were tired and we just ate those pizzas and then on saturday we went to harvard de grace i think it's called it's such a cute little town i truly enjoyed it and we went to two antique malls and this is just the first one they had so so many items over there which was incredible and so many things i feel like if you truly want to look at everything you need to go at least a few times that was also my first time seeing that kind of glass which was amazing and if you know me i love thrifting and i truly enjoy that place there are different areas and i kind of assume it's like different sellers but i'm not sure maybe just the owner who collects all those things i've never been to the place like that really so it was really amazing to explore the different things and just to see also i love glassware and so seeing all those items was amazing After the thrift store, we went to eat and that was good too. It was a really lovely place and it really reminded me of this like old tavern. You'll see in a second, like as if it's somewhere in Texas and some sort of a cowboy place, which I truly liked. My burger was great. It was probably one of the best burgers I've eaten. Obviously, it was vegan. I asked them to add extra lettuce, so I truly enjoyed that. And then we just went around the town and we went to the second mall, which was also great. I feel like it was curated way better. And I've seen like this cute rooms, the way they decorated the rooms was really really fun and I loved it. And then so many cute little things and artwork and I don't know, I took so many photos just for future style inspiration if we ever get a house. The town really reminded me kind of of a practical magic type of town. It's a lake nearby, not the like a bay or ocean, but it does look like a bay and it's so so cute. Like I really hope whenever we move to the mountains, I'm trying to manifest that. I, I hope that there will be towns like that. My sister-in-law said that they have a few towns like that nearby, which is so, so cute. And then we also went to the candy shop, but it wasn't super impressive. It was like weird, but I did like the Simpsons machine, which was fun. I feel like it's a game. Then, of course, I needed a second cup of coffee. So we proceeded to go and get some coffee. It was not 
grape. I asked for vanilla latte and I feel like they just made like plain latte with nothing, no syrup, no nothing in there. But I mean it was good for just to get warm but it was not tasteful so I don't know that was like a weird experience there but then we just walked back to the car and drove back. It was really relaxing and I was just so happy to see new things, new places, architecture. I love architecture and if you know me I love houses and just learning about the houses, learning how houses are built and that was definitely interesting. And then my sister in law made sushi and they were so freaking good and basically i ended up the day just reading Sunday was a slow day, we played the games and that was so much fun and then we went on a hike. Obviously I had to have my vitamin water. The hike was amazing, although I have to admit I got super tired at the end, I needed someone to carry me. But I was just like so, so happy to be there. I truly enjoy it, I, I enjoy nature, I enjoy water. I tried to push myself more and more to go to the lake near our house. My hair is crazy, it's gunpowder something, Little Creek River and it's so pretty in here, the water is crystal clear, there is a little bit of trash here and there but there's so many rocks and I love rocks, if you know me you know I love rocks, I don't need crystals, I love crystals though but rocks is my everything, I was always obsessed with rocks, um, but yeah the water is amazing. I would love to swim in here. It looks so great. Such a beautiful place. And Dustin's sister-in-law also gave me the binoculars. So I've been just looking at the trees. I have not seen any birds, but I think I just heard something. So I will try to see if I can spot something. I love exploring because you notice so many different things like the trees that look like they're hugging or interesting plants or prints of a deer. I truly felt like an explorer so I, I don't know it's always fun to go outside and when I was a child I really wanted to be Lara Croft slash like um, I forgot Rachel Weisz's character from The Mummy, but this is how I felt. Again, I just like looking at American life and obviously Maryland, Virginia are kind of like an older state where you can find more history and more historic architecture. And I just like witnessing what they have and what kind of life they live. I think those scenes are very American dream type of 
things american lifestyle that we see in the movies as foreigners is you know houses cars a lot of land trees suspenses so yes it's always so fascinating after the hike we just went back home grabbed our things and yeah basically went on the road to dc Driving to DC, I got a little bit nervous and big city vibes, oh boy, yes. But it was so much fun to finally be in DC and live a little bit of a big city life. Okay, we are in DC. I am so nervous, I have so much anxiety being here. It's crazy, I'm not a city girl anymore. It's so much traffic, so uh, busy, so many people, so... I don't know, I'm like intimidated, I have so much anxiety and not fear, but yeah, definitely anxiety. So yeah, we'll see how it will go. We went to our hotel and our hotel was like super nice. The view was pretty. The people opposite of our building, I guess those were like apartments, but none of the windows were closed. And I just love looking in the windows when it's dark just to see uh, interior design. But that was too much for me. Like I closed our curtains almost immediately because it was really intimidating. Like why are your windows are open? And then we went to this bird side thing. It's called. It was a great place, but. I felt like my food was a little bit undercooked, the drink was good, but potatoes were definitely undercooked, as well as tofu. This is my husband showing you how big the cookies are. Okay, Monday was the day when I had to go and basically renew my passport. I was so nervous to go to the Latvian embassy because I obviously forgot Latvian and I was here to speak English. But the appointment went nicely and I had no issues. The consular was extremely, extremely sweet. So now I'm just waiting for my Latvian passport. I hope to get it soon. We went to this Union Bread station, I think it was called, for coffee. Coffee was great. They also had food and vegetarian food now this scene i can't believe i filmed that that looks so gothic like if i ever make a movie this is the scene i want in my movie how cute that is all these birds and i swear for all the day those birds were following me and i also was surprised to learn that dc has so many birds and the cabbage is growing on the side of the road this is us basically going to the embassy we walked it took around 40 minutes which was great and we stopped a few times just for me to film all these buildings and we stopped also one just to sit down next to this fountain which was a nice stop and then there was a bookstore that i wanted to check out we just went there briefly i didn't buy any books i just wanted to see because it looked like a very cool place obviously if i were living in dc i think that would be one of my favorite places to shop especially for art and film and creative books <laughs> I was sitting next to the Latvian embassy just waiting for my appointment as I mentioned appointment went well and we went to get food that place was nice I was sitting and just witnessing what people were doing watching and that felt so great the day was good and then we went to the metro to get ourselves to the Museum of Natural History this is me happy in the metro because there's still some city dna in me and we walked for now like 10 minutes until we reached the museum <laughs> I 
to say this is not my first time going to the sea but it is my first time to share this experience with my husband and from what i remember from previous times i went it was always like super busy like don't get me wrong it was busy compared to like raleigh but it was still not as busy as i remember and in general it was such a peaceful day and both of us truly enjoyed it i was kind of scared that my husband would not enjoy that but he liked it and it was extremely easy that we could walk and reach different places you know just by walking there was a store near our hotel which was helpful and we spent around three hours in the museum we were exhausted it's so much to see in there this is my second time being in that museum and that was really cool to go to the places i knew exactly what i wanted to see obviously human history human origin is something that fascinates me a lot i definitely wanted to see lucy and so seeing the history of humankind was really really interesting for some reason i'm really interested in lucy maybe it's because of the movie lucy which is one of my favorite movies <laughs> But this skeleton, all the black bones, those were the bones that they were missing and I was shocked to learn that. So they only found a handful amount of the bones, which was really interesting. And then this is me and how would I would look like as Homo erectus. Now cave paintings are one of my favorite things. This is definitely my Roman empire and I just felt like at home in the cave. I generally like caves like I can live in a cave and so that was one of my favorite places. I would love to see cave paintings in real life. Okay, now this bear was ginormous, I never realized how big they are, and before that my husband told me, oh, there's like the ice thing, and you can climb in there, so I climbed in there, or underneath it, only to see two people who were shocked to see me climbing on the ground, because you actually could have entered that place, like there was a door, or like entrance, and they truly looked baffled, I think they even turned around to glance at me, their eyes were wide. <laughs> But me and my husband just laughed about it. And then there's this butterfly pavilion and it was not working when I was in DC in 2015. I think they were just building it and it was still not working back then, which is funny. And then we went to the biggest part of the museum for us. It's crystals and rocks. I love rocks. I love crystals, but I like rocks the most. And just seeing all these crowns and jewels, it's really eye-catching and really interesting. I'm not the big diamond person. I mean, first of all, I just cannot afford it. But second of all, yes, they're beautiful. And I do understand why so many people want the diamonds, but... I don't know it's just not a daily thing for me i'd rather have those rocks we found a few rocks that were found in north carolina there were so many beautiful ones and some like interesting almost like a fluffy ones hairy ones and my husband just said yeah it's it's basically asbestos which i was shocked to learn i only learned about asbestos from learning about real estate so that was you know you basically live and you learn which is always fun i'm not even kidding i want all of those crystals in in my home i just i really want to have a collection of rocks and crystals just good looking rocks that's all i want This thing, I thought you could put your hand in there and my husband was just basically showing like, no, there's glass. And I don't know how I did not know his glass.
this was a very cool part they were basically showing you the glowing rocks and yeah you just step in there and the glowing rocks appear <laughs> This little thing reminded me of ice cream with a macaroon on top. Then we went to the shop just to look around. They had many, many crystals, but nothing uh, that you can compare to the crystal shop or witch's store. And I like this thing, Earth is an ocean planet, which is definitely true. Then we were so tired, so we got this uh, fresh lemonade and water and sat down. And then we basically proceeded to go to this Stella and Lincoln Memorial. like that you could see the planes going above the Lincoln Memorial. It was relatively busy, but also it just felt so, so peaceful in there. Not loud and not annoying. We didn't go inside, which was fine. I seen Lincoln two times, um, so with me it was okay that we didn't go. And the sunset was amazing. It was so truly beautiful. But we proceeded to see the White House. Honestly, my legs were getting tired. But I really wanted my husband to see the White House. So we briefly glanced at it. And then we just basically kept going. And I couldn't stop filming different buildings, architecture. And I don't know. I just like this beige buildings. I like how they build. They really remind me of New York. Which makes sense. And we kind of started getting hungry, so we stopped at this place called Pow Pow, which was a little bit pricey, but the food was really, really good. And they had great, great drinks. The design inside was also very cute. It was very cozy. Food was made very fast. We enjoyed it. We were so full. I even had to eat some of my husband's rice because, you know, I can eat a lot of food. But we definitely took a little bit so much. My food was really, really good. I was really happy with that. And then we finished our food and just proceeded to walk to our hotel. It took us another 20 minutes and it was really nice walk. And I swear when in 2015, my first time traveling to the US with my, at that time, college, I swear we stopped somewhere in this area it looked so so familiar i swear it our hotel was somewhere over there because the streets look familiar and everything looked extremely familiar so tuesday basically was our day to leave so we got up got coffee i ate a vegan muffin and we just proceeded to walk around. Now look at this door. It was amazing. <laughs> so beautiful. I love doors for some reason. I thought I was the only one, but there are actually people who even make books and Instagram accounts about it. Doors are for real amazing. So yes, we went to the Compass Coffee and it was a cute little place. So very spacious. I enjoyed it. Coffee was good. Then we basically walked a little bit in the neighborhood where our hotel was, we made a little loop and went back. This is me happy, definitely the city girl is waking up inside me. I also like how many planes I have in DC, like some people have so many pots outside of their house just with different plants and it looks like people don't really care about 
the green neighbors of ours so i i really enjoyed it <laughs> After we walked a little bit, we just basically went to a hotel, grabbed our things and left. It took us around four and a half hours to get home. We got home around three, which was great. Overall, it was an extremely successful trip. I felt recharged and I felt great coming back home. Like I didn't feel like, oh my god, can I stay a little bit longer? So I feel like something inside me is changing, which I'm also extremely happy about. I love traveling, I love being in the new places, but I also started loving being home and that's a big change in me. Also, it was my very first time seeing Pentagon up close like that. I never seen it so close and that thing is massive. I did not realize how huge that place is. And then we got home and we were met by our sons and that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely visit DC.